Let's talk to Martin Montague, who owns Clear Waste. It's an app where you can report fly tipping you see anywhere in the UK. Martin, welcome to the programme, sir. Very good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Uh, my great pleasure, Martin. We, we, we speak about fly tipping a lot. It's one of those things which gets people very, very irate. I think you'll understand. What, what do you make of these measures that, that are being reported at the moment? I'm really pleased there's some consultation going on, but it's not going to fix the problem. It's an aspirin to cure cancer, essentially. It's just going to take the pain away um, for a moment. The biggest issues we've got right now is we've got a million fly tips a year and over 66% of all the adverts you see in classified, they're not apparently licensed. So consumers are going out, they're uh, instructing these people to remove waste and then they don't realise they're liable for a fine of up to £5,000 each. So the first thing we need to do is go to the government and say, right, let's look at how these people um, can advertise. Let's make sure that you pass some legislation. Companies can only put the adverts up if um, they're licensed and another real common sense thing that we could do would be to have their registration uh, details on their vans when they collect waste the same as taxis so consumers could see that they're licensed when they turn up and then unlicensed vehicles could also be tracked using ampr and and other roadway cameras Martin, can I ask you, is there a way of resolving this like you, you described? Because, you know, we speak about this a lot because we have a lot of fly tipping across this part of the world. It gets people very, it makes them angry. I mean, one of the stories we reported into last year was somebody fly tipped rubbish on the road on a lane that led to a hospice. I mean, and, and people have to step yeah. in. I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous that we can't clamp down on these clowns. Yeah, I know. And I, today, uh, it was heartbreaking. I was in a river pulling out drums of oil. Um, that was polluting the water, there was dead fish and there's heaps of asbestos all dumped in there as well. It's just heartbreaking. And I I go to all the worst fly tips in the country um, because I get to see them on the app. I've seen football field size amounts of stuff. I've seen fly tipped animals, uh, people with, who just literally fly tipped their dead dog or horse and stuff like that. More needs to be done and that's why Um, On the app, what we've also got is a system where if you catch someone in the act and you get a photograph or some CCTV dash cam, you can submit that. We'll pass that on to the local authorities, environment agency, and we'll try and make sure that they get prosecuted. But the big thing, the crime needs to, sorry, the punishment needs to fit the crime because fly tippers, some of them have cost the taxpayer hundreds of thousands of pounds to clean the mess up and they've been fined a thousand two thousand quid. It just doesn't work. No We've it doesn't. Get the, real there is this, I and mean, look, the local council I speak to they're, they're, they're furious. I mean they want the powers to be able to deal with this because all, it, yeah, people don't realise it's, it's being done Martin on an industrial scale. Absolutely, I see it every day. I couldn't agree more with you. How, how do people get a hold of your app? Okay, they can go to clearwaste.com on the website and report on there or literally in um, either Apple or um, Google um, App Store. It's a great app. Uh, It's completely free and I don't make a penny from it. It is just to protect consumers. But anyone that uses that, I promise you, we will do everything we can to help. If you're stuck, you're in a difficult situation, if your area is regularly getting fly tipped, drop us a line because um, I'll try to clean this country up on my hands and knees if I have to. And Martin, I think I think it was you I saw on television this morning. Is it when you launched this app, were you surprised by the speed at which people were suddenly taking this thing up? Yeah, I was. I mean, I was very surprised. Um, but I'm very pleased as well because the key thing to remember is technology on its own doesn't solve problems. It's consumers en masse that solves problems. And the more people we have using this thing, the more power I've got to go to government and say, change this, look at that, help consumers with this, help give the councils more money to issue fines. Because the other silly thing is, research suggests that for every pound that's spent on um, waste crime, it generates five more legal pounds that go into the system. So, you know... It's ridiculous. It's, but it's all solvable. We can fix this together. 
Hope so. Martin, nice talk. You keep up the good work. Let's let's talk again soon. We, unfortunately, I think we have one a week at least and a, and a major fly tip, which just winds people up. But I wish no. you well, Martin. Thank you. Martin Montague. My pleasure. Thank you. Who owns Clearway. It's an app where you have totally free. You can down, report fly tipping anywhere you see it. Just just whether it's uh, on Apple or Android, just just download the app clear waste and well, i think when martin launched this thing even he was surprised the speed at which people were saying i've seen it i've got it and then started reporting fly tips this is happening it, it, it is just industrial